Okay, I'm using Photoshop uh, CS4 and I'm going to do some simple edits to a photograph here. I've brought up, I've opened up a few photographs. I've got this one, this one, this one, and this one, and I'm going to show you some basic editing techniques. So here's one um, shot that I'm going to do some adjustments with, some edits with, and I'm going to show you two tools. I'm going to show you first of all uh, levels and then I'll show you curves. Alright, now layers window here and I want to do here's my layers you can see there's my background layer right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my levels but instead of doing an image um, let's see here a image adjustments levels to my background layer which will change my image I'm gonna do it in an adjustment layer so I'm gonna click here and on this is the adjustment uh, layer uh, menu tool right at the bottom of your layers panel and I'm going to click on levels and that sets up an adjustment layer for doing levels and what I can use do with levels is, is I can change the the value range the tonal range of my image and to do that what I can do is I can take this black um, handlebar right here and I can increase the darkness by sliding that over you can see there increasing the darkness and I can take the white and I can slide that over adding white. Now this histogram here has a wave which is a visual representation of all of the pixels in this image. And you can see that the wave is kind of big here. Uh, there's like this mountain of pixels right here and you can see that most of them are in the dark black to mi middle gray range. So most of the pixels are kind of uh, on the dark side. So I can also adjust this middle gray slider which will brighten up the image if I slide that over there. So now instead of middle gray being over here middle gray can be right there. And then I can um, slide this other one over and darken things up. But what I don't want to do is if I slide too far then what happens is all of the pixels to the left of this black uh, anchor bar or, or um, triangle, all the pixels to the left are all, now, are all now pure black. So whereas before these pixels were between black and middle gray, they're now all black. So if you have everything go to all black, you've actually lost information, right? And you can see right there that these, these calves, these baby cows, are now just solid black and and we're losing a lot of the nice dark gray tones that we had so anyway you want to make minor adjustments here not major adjustments um, to your image and so this is how you would do an uh, adjustment layer um, to your image and if you want to apply it you just hit uh, enter and it's applied if you want to go back you can click this arrow and then I'll just double click on my layers and you can see there it is on an adjustment layer right and I can turn the eyeball on and off to see this um, appear or disappear now you can do the same type of edit using a curves adjustment layer so what I'm gonna do is I'll turn the eyeball off on this layer right here and I'll select the background layer again and I'll get to my adjustment layers and I will do a curves adjustment layer and try that out all right, and so now it opens up the curves dialog box on the right here, and you can now play with curves. And curves is generally a little bit more advanced tool than levels, partially because you can, um, it just gives you a greater range of things that you can do without losing information in the image. So, first of all, you've got um, an RGB here, overall mode, and with that, I can make an edit to this. Uh, graph right here. Uh, these are lights, these are darks, and if I pull this up you'll see the image gets lighter. If I pull it down the image gets darker. And a typical thing to do if you want to increase your contrast, meaning make your whites a little whiter and your darks a little darker, is click over here and create an S-curve. So I'll slightly I'll slightly pinch that up and then I'll put my cursor here and slightly move that down and that creates a very mild S-curve which include which um, increases the darks and whites in your image. I've said hey for middle gray over here because here's white here's black here's middle gray I'm gonna make those push those a little bit more to the white and then on this S-curve down here I'll take the the uh, middle to dark gray tones and push those down a little bit towards black 
and then just hit enter and I believe you just hit enter to apply that and um, of course if you wanted to get rid of it you can just get rid of it by trash canning the whole thing or going backwards I'm gonna double click on my layer here and you'll see now I have a curves adjustment layer and I could turn it on and off to see before and after. If I want I can add the levels onto it also. So now I have a curves adjustment layer and a levels adjustment layer. Alright, let's go to another image here. In this image you can see it's kind of um, backlit. The sky is very bright uh, but the rocks here on the mountain are pretty dark. So what I might want to do here is do some edits but also use a mask so that I can apply the curves or the adjustment level the, or the levels adjustment uh, filtered uh, mask so that it applies to only part of the image not the whole image so let's see here I'll go to my adjustment layers and I'll say okay curves right and what I want to do is I want to uh, adjust this and make it a little bit brighter so I could just click and push that up a little bit and you can see here that what's nice is the mountain you can start seeing the details in the rocks on the mountain but as I go farther and farther the sky just turns bright white and I don't really want that so what I'm gonna do is I'll just I'll do it a little bit here right so now I, I see more details in the mountains skies turned white now what I'm gonna do is I'll double click on the layer here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit the mask that's on this adjustment layer so that the curves adjustment that I just did it applies only to um, only to the mountain part of the image so I'll click right here on this mask right and then I'll get a paintbrush under my pencil to the brush tool and I'll go down here I need to get black and white I'll click on these color chips and what I want to do is I want to paint right here on this um, mask area and if I start painting here you'll see that I'm painting right here that this black is applied to this mask I didn't actually paint black onto my um, image I'm painting it in the mask you can see right there there it is so what I'll do is I'll get a bigger brush let's see here let's get a size 100 brush now let's get size 200 and start painting and you can see that as I paint it's masking out the curves adjustment so that the sky does not get the curves adjustment layer only the um, only the mountain only the rock so I'll just get a bigger brush here again Let's see here maybe 300 there we go and paint that paint that paint that and so I'm applying this to the sky area so that my sky doesn't turn completely white by the extreme curves adjustment layer that I did to make the rock appear I, all right and there we go now if you want to see what you've done what you can do is if you want to just look at your mask I think you can alt click on this mask let's see here alt click and then it'll show you just the mask so I held down the alt key on my keyboard and I clicked right on the mask and I could see that some of these areas need to be painted solid black so now I can just paint that black a lot easier without making any mistakes All right there we go so there's my mask right and then I'll alt click on that mask again to bring it back right and now you can see when I take the eyeball on and off that there's before with the uh, mountain all dark and then and then turn it on and the mountains lightened up but the sky stays the same and so that's a nice little edit if I want to I can get a little bit closer here to this edge what I might do is zoom in and get a smaller brush let's say size uh, 65 or size 200 even and I can get a little bit closer to that edge 
and get a little bit better edit right on there. Um, the closer I get to an edge, what I, the smaller the brush I'm going to use so that I can get my edit to be a lot cleaner and tighter to that rock face.